The Rigid Model PCS 500 Transportable Pipe Saw is designed to clamp on the pipe and create a square cut on steel, stainless steel, plastic, and cast iron pipes. The PCS 500 can only be used with pipes on stands, not pipes in place. To begin, make sure the pipe is solidly mounted, stable, and properly supported on both fixed ends, and the side being cut off to prevent tipping, falling, or pinching the saw blade after the cut is made. To mount the clamp on the pipe, press the quick release lever and push the upper carriage down to fully open the clamp. Place the clamp on the pipe with the lead screw at 10 degrees from vertical. Press the quick release lever and lift the upper carriage until all the wheels lightly contact the pipe. Set the alignment pad on the clamp two inches from the desired cut position. For proper performance, the cut must be more than one inch from the end of the pipe. Tighten the clamp screw handle hand tight, plus an extra one eighth turn to grip the pipe between the clamp wheels. To mount the saw on the clamp, align the pivot pin bore on the pipe saw with the pivot pin of the clamp, and the plunge plate should be higher than the plunge plate guide. Slide the pipe saw pivot pin bore over the clamp pivot pin until the latch engages the groove on the clamp pivot pin. Pivot the handle end of the saw towards the pipe to engage the plunge plate and the clamp plunge plate guide. The plunge lock pin will spring engage with the plunge plate ready position hole. The pipe saw is now locked in the ready position and won't pivot until the plunge lock pin is retracted. With the saw unplugged, grasp the saw handle with the right hand and pull the plunge lock pin with the left hand. Carefully pivot the saw towards the pipe and make sure the saw blade aligns with the desired cut location. Pivot the saw away from the pipe until the plunge lock pin engages with the ready position hole. Use the cord dump to release the power cord. Route the cord around the side of the pipe opposite the operator behind the back plate so it is clear of the chip chute and blade. Plug the power cord in. Stand to the side of the pipe facing the pipe saw handle while maintaining access to the on-off switch. Make sure you're well balanced and don't have to overreach. Hold the nearest clamp handlebar with your left hand. With your right hand, press the on switch to start the saw blade. Firmly grip the saw handle with your right hand. With your left hand, hold the spring biased plunge lock pin on the clamp until it disengages from the ready position hole in the saw. Pivot the saw towards the pipe. The guard start bracket will start to open the saw blade guards and the rotating blade will contact the pipe. Apply firm pressure to plunge the blade through the pipe wall. If the LED indicator lights begin to flash, plunge the saw slower. Rotating the saw too fast could cause saw overload, breaker tripping, and saw blade damage. When the saw blade is fully plunged, the clamp plunge lock pin engages in the cut position hole on the saw plunge plate. With one hand on the saw handle, grip the nearest clamp handle bar with the other hand. Slowly rotate the pipe saw away from you around the pipe. If the LEDs flash, rotate the unit slower. As the saw rotates around the pipe, move your hands from one clamp handle bar to the next. Watch the pipe for movement or shifting, and the cord is free of moving parts. You'll need to stop rotating the pipe saw and press the off button if the blade binds in the pipe. The pipe saw unit does not track properly, the saw blade is not cutting properly, or the process needs to be stopped for any other reason. If the cutting is stopped before a cut is completed, unplug the saw, holding the saw handle with your right hand. With your left hand, pull the plunge lock pin to disengage it from the cut position hole. Disengage the saw blade from the pipe. Pivot the saw handle until the plunge lock pin engages the ready position hole of the saw plunge blade. Restart the cut at a new cut location if possible. Rotate the pipe saw around the pipe until the cut is completed and the saw returns to the start position. Keep the saw blade running while holding the saw handle with your right hand. With your left hand, pull the plunge lock pin to disengage it from the cut position hole. Raise the saw handle until the plunge lock pin engages the ready position hole of the saw plunge blade. Press the off button. Keep your hands on the saw until the blade stops rotating. To dismount the pipe saw and clamp, unplug the unit. Hold the plunge lock pin out and pivot the saw up to disengage the plunge plate from the plunge lock pin and plunge plate guide. Holding the pipe saw handle with one hand and the pivot grip with the other, press the latch on the pipe saw to disengage the pivot pin and slide the saw off the pivot pin. Supporting the clamp on the pipe, loosen the clamp lead screw about one turn. Press the quick release lever on the clamp and push the upper carriage down to disengage the clamp from the pipe. Watch out for sharp edges. To transport the unit, separate the saw from the clamp, if needed, to reduce the carried weight. The PCS 500 is lightweight and compact for easy transport to and from the job site.